Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we have a video about AMD Vega and it just got crazy. Real quick, I'm hosting a giveaway for Rust and City Skylines. Link is in the description. Anyways, just yesterday, VideoCars.com released a short article claiming that a very good source told them about AMD Vega specs. There are a couple of Vega versions, Vega 10, Vega 20, and Vega 11. Vega 10 is likely what we'll see first in the first quarter of 2017. It will have 64 compute units, 24 teraflops of 16-bit computing power, or 12 teraflops of raw power. It will be based on the new 14 nanometer GFX9 architecture and it will have 16 gigabytes of HBM2 and an expected TDP of 225 watts. Crazy specs here, but it's worth noting that the HBM2 here seems to be clocked at half the bandwidth normally available to HBM2 as shown here in some official articles, but the big thing here, 12 teraflops of raw computing performance? Normally AMD cards are high in teraflops but score lower than an Nvidia card at a similar level, but this is a new architecture, so we could be blown away by performance on par with the Pascal Titan X. Just a thought. Another GPU that was talked about here is Vega 20, which will use the 7 nanometer GFX9 architecture and have 32 gigabytes of HBM2 at 1 terabyte of bandwidth and a TDP of around 150 watts with PCI Express 4.0 support. 32 gigs of HBM2 at 150 watts, how is that even possible? If we look back at the HBM2 article, you'll see that at most, a single die can only have 4 stacks of HBM2, which all max out at 4 gigabytes each, but we see here 32 gigs? This implies 2 dies on a single Vega 20 GPU, but then at 150 watts? Maybe 7 nanometer will be a godsend for efficiency? I don't know. This seems to be an early sample since Global Foundries just the other day announced their 7 nanometer as the next leading edge technology that they will deliver. Lastly, there is also talk about Vega 11 which will replace Polaris 10 this coming year. So we should expect Vega 10, a titan killer, or at least a competitor to it, and then a replacement for the mid-range RX 480. Hopefully this news is actually true, and even if it's not, I bet we're going to hear about a 1080 tie leak very soon. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Remember to join the giveaways in the description. Like and subscribe to show your support, and again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.